Hi, I'm Tom Gustafson, Computer Information Systems Instructor at Lake Superior College in Duluth, Minnesota. Welcome to the second video in our series on Windows 7 unattended installation. In our first video, we answered this question, what is an unattended installation? And we saw that it's a hands-free installation that requires no interaction by us while it's taking place because all the answers to the installation questions come from an answer file. It saves us time, lets us be a lot more efficient in installing Windows. We looked at the two resources we need for an unattended installation, the Windows 7 Enterprise Evaluation we will be using. It's available free at the URL that you see right there. You can download it as an ISO file, a 90-day evaluation that can be rearmed up to 180 days. It's every feature of Windows 7 because it's enterprise. We also need the Automated Installation Kit, another free download from Microsoft, and we saw where to find it. You download it, it's 1.7 gigabytes, and it's an ISO file. You can use that directly or burn it to a DVD. We talked about the elements of an unattended installation file, and the first one is an answer file. That's the file that contains all the information that the setup program needs for an installation so that it can be truly hands-off and unattended. These files are not easy to decipher or create, and so Microsoft provides a tool for us. It's called Windows Sim, which is the System Image Manager, and it's a graphical interface that allows us to create these unattended answer files without having to type XML code. It's part of Windows AIK, again, a free download from Microsoft, and this System Image Manager is still a little bit tricky to use, I think. So we'll take a look at it and try to simplify it a little bit for you. We're going to use a couple of things to create this answer file. One is a, a Windows image file that's on the Windows 7 DVD. This is an image of a Windows installation. It's in the Sources folder, and it's called install.wim. Uh, you create these WIM files with the ImageX tool that comes with the automated installation kit, where you can create an image of a complete Windows installation. We have an ins ins installation image on the DVD for us to use. The other thing that we'll need is the sample unattended installation file that came with the automated installation kit. When we installed it in the first video, this file, C Program Files, Windows AIK Samples, unattend.xml, was put out there for us automatically, and we're going to use that file to do our to create our answer file. We're actually going to take that answer file, open it, look at it, make some changes to it, and save it as a new answer file. So let's next talk about the steps to an unattended installation. The first one is to install the Windows AIK, which we've already done. The program was easy to run, it was just a big file to install, and it includes all these wonderful tools for doing installations, and we've looked at some of them. The next job, and that's what we'll do in this video, is to create an unattended installation file using the Windows image file on the Windows 7 D DVD, starting with that autounattend.xml file that the automated installation kit gave us, and then we're going to make some changes to it. So that's what we're going to do. Let's jump over to our virtual machine here. And now what I'm going to do is log on, and go to the Start menu to All Programs, and start up the Automated Installation Kit, and begin uh, loading the Windows System Image Manager. This is our graphical tool for creating the answer file that has all the answers the setup program needs to do a Windows installation. Now, we're going to uh, need to, first of all, select a Windows image or catalog file, and this is where we're going to need one of those WIM files, which is, a, which is an image of a Windows installation. And we have one, fortunately, on the Windows 7 installation media. So I'm going to go to my settings here and to my D CD DVD drive, and notice that I still have the automated installation kit DVD in the drive. I'm going to replace that with this 
disk right here, which is an enterprise evaluation. This is the installation media for the Windows 7 enterprise evaluation. I'll click OK. So essentially what I've done on this virtual machine is I've just swapped uh, my Windows automated installation kit DVD out and put in the Windows 7 installation media. The reason I've done that is so now I can right click right here and select a Windows image. I'm going to browse to that CD drive, the DVD, go into the sources directory and this file right here, install.wim. That's an image of a complete Windows 7 Enterprise installation. It's 1.94 gigabytes in size and I'm choosing that as my Windows image that I will use to create this unattended installation file. So now I have something that appears in this Windows image pane down here. It says Windows 7 Enterprise and then I have components and packages. And I'm just going to expand components here and show you why I mentioned to you earlier that the system image manager can be a little bit daunting. Look at all of the options here under components. They all start with x86 Microsoft Windows, but there are lots and lots and lots of them. That can be a little bit uh, a little bit scary when you look at all those options. Well, we're going to simplify it a little bit. And the way we're going to simplify it is we are going to open an existing answer file. Instead of creating one from scratch, we're going to open one. And recall that I told you that on our computer, when we install the automated installation kit, on our C drive, under program files, under Windows AIK, and under samples, there is an auto unattend dot sample uh, XML file. That's a sample auto unattend file right there. So we're going to just open that one up and it's going to associate this answer file with the Wi Windows 7 Enterprise image. That's the one that I opened up here and I will click yes. And now we have the answer file opened up associated with an image and ready for us to look at it and then to configure it as we wish. Now, before we move any farther, I want to talk about these seven steps right here, which are called configuration passes. Windows PE, Offline Servicing, Generalize, Specialize, Audit System, Audit User, and OOBE System. OOBE or UBI stands for Out of Box Experience. What are those seven things that are listed there? So let's just take a little break from the System Image Manager and let's talk about those seven steps. They're called configuration passes. And these configuration passes are the phases of Windows setup during which settings are applied. And so when you set an option uh, to take a configuration option that's going to be in your unattended answer file, it takes place during one of these seven steps. And sometimes they can only occur during one step like Windows PE. Other times you might have a choice at which step to apply them. But it helps to have just a basic understanding of what these are all about. First of all, the first one, and they are in, in a logical order here, is the Windows PE configuration pass. Remember now, Windows PE is the Windows pre-execution boot environment. And this is the first phase of the Windows uh, installation or Windows setup. Windows PE options and basic setup options occur during this configuration pass. And you're going to note that there are quite a few things that are set, like the, the language, for example, is set during the Windows PE configuration pass. Some of these other ones uh, in the middle here aren't going to be used a whole lot, at least not by us. Offline servicing is for applying updates, packages, and drivers to an image. Specialize, uh, we'll play with something in here uh, for fun, system specific information like network and domain settings. What I'll show you is how you can set Internet Explorer settings in this specialized configuration pass. Generalize is used only with sysprep and if you don't know what sysprep is, it's a way to generalize a computer so that it takes away the things that should be unique on every computer like this security identifier, computer name, and things like that. These two audit items, audit 
system and audit user are only during used during audit mode and we're not going to be concerned about that either. And the last one is actually going to be used quite a bit. So the first and last are the ones we're most concerned about. The out of box experience system. These are the settings that are applied before Windows Welcome. And the out of box experience is basically what you see if you buy a brand new computer and turn it on the first time, you're asked a bunch of questions about settings for Windows. That's your out of box experience. And that's the last phase of these seven configuration passes. Okay, so now that we have a basic understanding of the configuration passes, let's talk um, a little bit before we close off this video about what we're going to be doing in the system image manager. I'm going to look at the first configuration pass here, Windows PE, and notice that um, a couple of items, Windows International Core Win PE, uh, have been chosen. That's one of them. And look down here, and there it is right here, Windows Set International Core Win PE. So this item down here in the Windows image has been selected to be included in our answer file. And there are settings related to it. If I just click on this item, the International Core Win PE, notice the input locale, system locale, the UI language, and the user locale have all been set at English US, United States English. If I expand it, the setup user interface language is also set to English US. Here's another one, Microsoft Windows Setup Neutral, and if I go down here in the Windows image um, and scroll down a little bit, uh, there it is right there. So that one's been selected to be, take place during the Windows uh, PE configuration pass as well. And there are some options here that aren't set, like to enable the firewall, for example. If I set that to true, the firewall would be enabled, but it's not set. It's left unconfigured. There are some things that are configured here, though. However, disk configuration, for example. Um, this is actually uh, what allows us to run this unattended installation on a system that has a non-partitioned, non formatted disk and this will actually create the partitions on our disk. It's going to create partition number one, a particular size, and it's going to create partition number two. It's also going to modify the partitions. Um, notice it's going to be formatted with the NTFS file system as is this one and it's going to have a label either Windows or system so it's going to create a system partition and a Windows partition. And so this is telling the setup, which happens early on in the Windows PE configuration phase, to actually create partitions and format them. So we can start out with a non-partitioned, totally blank disk. And then we're telling the operating system to um, install to disk zero partition number two. And then under user data, product key, Right here it says replace with product key. If we were doing a normal installation, we'd put our product key here. Because Windows 7 Enterprise does not require a product key, we can just leave this blank. So that gives you a basic idea of the Windows System Image Manager and these seven configuration passes. We'll continue on by looking at some of the other components here, and we will also add some components as well so that we can learn how to configure this unattended installation file, and we'll do that in the next video.